All right, yet another day and another day in the robots as uh, we're all well underway here. Soon we're going to go to war with ClickSack Union. Those assholes have been sitting on their laurels for a long, long time, and uh, it will be possible in approximately two years. Uh, they are pathetic in every way, shape, or form compared to our military, and uh, we're going to have a fun time doing so. We're going to carve a nice old corridor right through their territory. Uh, also, the Damana Confederacy seems to have some territory within their space. I think this has something to do with um, this Gaia world they actually managed to capture. That's less than optimal. What do we got here? Uh, Non-aggression pact between the Clickstack Union and the Sovereign Kemplar states. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, we're actually running with one extra sector, uh, mainly because I'm making more than enough money to deal with that. And... Uh, yeah, we can just control this uh, planet over here, which is Celestial Throne. I'm going to keep as much control of this as possible before the uh, AI decides to, you know, do something really stupid with it. Which wouldn't be the first time, really, because, you know, it's, it's AI in the end. It's not particularly smart in this particular case. Watson, I'm thinking of you, buddy. Like, I know you're smart, but these, uh, these fellows over here may as well just be toasters, really. What do we got? Hostile fleets. Uh, get some drones. Nothing really curious. I could put the policy on, but uh, we got a battleship ready to go in here, Debris and it's going to destroy everything in the system. There's a lot of stuff to research in this system as well, so that's uh, something I want to do. One moment, please. Sorry about that. I had to clear my throat there for a second. But yeah, um, like at this point, I'm making so much money. It's literally no point in actually doing anything with uh, that. Oh, you're not making any credits at the moment. Hmm. Okay, all my sectors are making money. That's good. Uh, all my sci science ships are out here. You're going to go and survey the system. There's any more resources here? The Gorothi Interplanetary Empire, Mikonas, Mikonas, the Gorothi Interplan. There, these ones. Okay, cool. Okay, war will be here soon. We'll look forward to it. Let's get everything into position for it as well. This all this stuff has now been surveyed. Uh, let's go to here with this ship and go for assist research on that one. So this is BB-1, which is a 40k fleet. We'll send you out here. How much is the upgrade here? Five credits. So it's not even worry, worth my while. Uh, BB-2, where are you? You're down in here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this one, which I'm going to call BB-3. Uh, BB-3. I will send you to the you Kemplar States because... I'm expecting them to become a problem. We'll set this up as BB4. Xenomorph Army, Sector Limit plus one. I'm not really using all of that, so we'll leave that for now. It's really no point to it. It's a poor resources. Into the private colony ship, however, is nice and cheap. How old is this guy, by the way? Uh, radiation and control bursts. Yes, I'll try, I'll try some of that. How old? 201? Sobak. He's 201 years old. He's got a spark of genius. Uh, I guess that is nice. Also, we somehow have 44 liters. Well, our limit is, I don't know, like 12. <laughs> All right, BB4. There we go. Uh, hold on, my OCD will not handle this. Uh, yep, there we go. So this will sort it out. Okay, so we're doing the little survey thingy, which is fine. It's a 30k fleet. That's a 30k fleet. Okay, we're almost almost time for war. The Gravity Crush. The SR survey on the asteroid is temporarily halted as the probe is caught in an er errant gravitable anomaly. Interesting. The probe manages to transmit some data before it's brutally crushed by the extreme forces. Forces that completely dissipate soon after. Wow. Physics research. Even more in the pool. Because, you know, we need it more. All right, asteroid listening post, crystal kaleidoscope. We have a uh, shrine to the old gods. Like... Every service, yeah. Uh, the only, okay, where is this? Yeah, it's in the center of the galaxy, so it's completely useless. Uh, <coughs> All right, what do we got? I seem to have uh, contracted some land death from uh, Gamescom. For those people that weren't aware, I was uh, there uh, over the week. 
Uh, it was uh, pretty cool. Uh, it was also very, very busy. Uh, for those people that don't know, I work in TV. And, uh, yeah, basically coming around with about 150,000 people. Why, why are we... Okay, uh, why are we cheekily bombing this planet? Uh, I am completely unsure of why this has happened. Uh, are we at war with these people? Uh, they are primitives. Why are we terror bombing them? <laughs> that seems to be completely unnecessary, and that's not going to... Yeah, for some reason we were terror bombing these uh, these tropical people down here. Uh, even though they were primitive, all of a sudden uh, the sky opened up. Uh, that was probably less than optimal for them. Ooh, we can upgrade the planetary administration. Good. I'm actually really tempted to uh, destroy this uh, this building right here because that will slowly but steadily purge them from their uh, all these aliens. So let's go and destroy this and this one as well. Construction complete. Okay, cool. So let's get a... Yes, they're all hungry now. That's good. Uh, I'm, I'm totally not hollow motoring these guys at all, guys. So don't you worry about that. Uh, they're not, you know, starving or anything. Um, this stuff is growing. That is fine. Let's put a symbol of, of unity on there. You know, let's uh, give them a little bit of happiness there. Yeah, that's fine. Let's pave over that uh, that right there. Spirian shard. Who cares, right? We'll, we'll micromanage that. That's not an issue. Uh, I think it's time for war. So, uh, well, actually, it's not, but it will be in four months. So, Research. how are we doing on our armies? Uh, we've got a bunch of them. So, let's embark all of them. All of them. Yeah, it's going to be a significant amount of troops that we have. All right, cool. Uh, that should be several armies. Of sci psionic, uh, psionic androids. That would be a cool album. Cool album name, you know, for Iron Maiden, Psionic Android or something like that. But considering Iron Maiden, they would probably be something on the lines of, you know, d Crush, Kill, and Destroy or something like that. Or uh, running running, running to the devil. Uh, the androids, the android dream. I don't know. But I'm just making some shit up as I go here. Um, neutron torpedoes. Should I go for those? No, I really shouldn't. Minor mandate, colony development, that's fine. Disruptor. Let's go for observatory. Like it's not all that good at the moment. Like it's it won't do me much good. But uh it it, it will be nice. Okay, so the armies I have been recruited, that's good. Uh this is all set up. That's a ten thousand level fleet, so let's go to war and I can't make them my tributary, and I can also not vasalize them, which is a shame, but I will Take their capital world. So uh, we'll just actually hold on. We need to we need to take a look here. At what we actually want? So we want Mon Monbath, which is uh, this one over here. Why? Because we want to like build a road right through the middle down here, and then we're gonna build a wall around them, and then we're gonna make them pay for it. Yes. Uh, if you're watching this video in like 2018 and you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, what will most likely not work at all. Uh, which is the proposed wall by uh, presidential candidate Donald Trump, which I doubt is going to get very far, but we shall see. Uh, also, Don, I'm trying to stay out of politics as much as possible, but, you know, what are you going to do, right? Okay. Wonton, Wonton, Shorax, Ginam. Where is this? Where is this? What is it? Shirat has two worlds in it. Where is Shirat? Is it, is it nearby anywhere that I want? It doesn't look like it's the case. It looks maybe it's down here. Shira, I, I don't even see it. That's how much I care about it, really. Usaladon. Us, there we go. Usaladon, Vindrax, Amonbath, uh, Gatana. Where are you, Gatana? This could be so much quicker, you know. This, I, I would just be able to, like, I want this, this. Like, turn it into, like, a sector thing, right? Like, I want this, this area right here, and this is how much territory I will get out of it. Will I be able to connect everything up? Like that's the that's the most important stuff because Bordagore is in fact the devil, and uh, we want to stay away from that as much as possible. Uh, Brigafa, Brigafa, where are you? Yes, I will take you, and I will stick Durr because that's a cool name. That's the only reason why I want it. There we go. Let's confirm this war. Cool. Uh, we will most likely be at war with both the Clicksack Union and the 
Kemplar States, which is fine. So let's take a look at Frakjaws Erie, which is the capital of the associated Kemplar States, which for some reason is on the other side of the galaxy. Right. Okay, let's uh, split up this fleet here, and we will send you into here. And the other one, uh, which is... Oh, this is 20k. Okay. Station under attack. Really? Already? That's quick. 5.9. Where is this? Rubies. All right, because... Reasons. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. It's 5k. So I have BB2 in position. You're going to go straight to that capital world. Uh, you got BB3 is moving over there. BB4 is going to go down here and save this place. Put some logistic stuff on there. Uh, anonymous autonomous cluster. Zero one, you are gonna go into here. Should be doable. Let's put a leader on you. Um, what do we have? Eager is not that good. Um, resilient, I don't really need. Uh, let's go with unyielding. Adaptable. <coughs> let's go with unyielding. Um, I will most likely lose that fleet, but I'm really not all that worried about it to be honest. Uh, loss of spaceport to a destroyer, corvette, and a cruiser. That's fine. Uh, how much dudes do we have here? Like there. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile All right, what do we got? Engaged. Okay, 20k. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's a lot of missiles. Uh, are we going to be able to block all of those? Uh, that is a fortress. That is not optimal. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, so we're falling back to this position. Okay, so we know what's going on in this system. So we know there's a fortress here. Uh, we don't know if there's a fortress on this side. The second murder was here. It was, it was a battleship. And that was a mining station. So this is a fortress down here. So the most optimal way of getting into the system would be down through here. Okay, so let's station take a look here. Attack. Evading hostile fleet. Hostile fleet engaged. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay, so it's the Hulk Squadron. Hostile We're currently fleet at minus engaged. three. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah, that's hostile fine. Fleet engaged. Okay, so autonomous cluster. We're just taking down this fleet. Hostile fleet engaged. So we're going to take down this system. It shouldn't Station take very long. Attack. We're going to lose some stations in this, but I'm not particularly Situation worried about it. Updated. What do we got here? 10k. We got 20k. Yeah, so here's one fleet down. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet <coughs> this should be, under this should be uh, very quick, to be honest. Like They are using uh, quite a lot of missiles. I don't know whether or not my Hostile ships have engaged. got point defense on them, so we'll see. Station under attack. Yeah, we got point defense on our destroyers, so that's Station fine. Okay, so that's that Situation fleet annihilated. Updated. That's good. Um, that is about 20k worth of fleet. So it looks like we lost BB3. Oh, hold on. No, we got this one still. So BB3 has been lost, which is a shame. It just means that we have to reposition this fleet over here. Station under attack. Which is fine. Uh, currently, they're f invading some of this stuff over here. What kind of ships are we looking at here? What do we got? It's mostly missiles, isn't it? It looks like it. Okay, so this is about 20k worth. A little bit more. And that looks like to be the bulk of their fleet anyway. Which we can handle. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so BB-1 is a 40k fleet, which is currently on standby. Let's, um, I think I've taken out the, the brunt of their fleet anyway. Yeah, the Kemplar states are actually being the biggest problem at the moment. So we're just going to go and annihilate Situation everything here. Updated. That's good. Under Hostile fleet engaged. As they're continuing to trying to send attack. stuff in, like Situation a couple of battleships updated. left... Uh, like here and there, but I'm really not all that worried about that, to be honest. Uh, let's put a general on you and on attack. It's uh, this fleet right here engaged. that is the potentially biggest attack. problem. Uh, observatory, ooh, hyperlane mapping, and it's only 20 months away. That's good. All right, Station cool. Let's take that. Okay, so under 2k fleet here. 
destroyed a battleship, destroyed most of their ships here. Situation log okay. updated. Okay, we should be okay here for now. Yeah, they're just they're just flowing in. They're just rolling in like battleships into the system. Uh, nothing that we shouldn't be able to handle. Okay, so we have a significant amount of troops here. So let's merge all of these together into one cluster. And then we'll go after the Kemplar State Fleet. Uh, actually, we don't need to do that at all. Because my main battle fleet is already getting into position. So let's go to Dur uh, with this fleet. What do we got? Uh, destroyed a couple of battleships, a couple of spaceports, nothing too crazy. Uh, let's get into their space. Uh, we tried to get into here. Yeah, we did. So what we're going to do is is we're going to try to get into their space again. But this time we're going to go through here and then here. We're just going to go around and just Hostile take get away from that game. fortress. Because that's potentially problematic. Okay, so are we Hostile bombing this world? Because <coughs> we should. Okay, let's just... Split up this fleet here. And you, sir, only have one job. And you're going to bomb this planet Post into oblivion. Cool. All right, cool. So we're going to transport fleet here. Let's get it into position. Uh, kind of worried about that. but Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. These guys are just floating around and uh, taking down the enemy wherever they can. So. Okay, so United Kemplar State's fleet is in here Hostile somewhere. Fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Okay, here they are. Okay, this is going to be the pivotal, pivotal fight of the war, mainly because the United Kemplar States have pretty much thrown all their, uh, all their eggs in one basket, which is this fleet down here. Uh, let's take a look at what they actually have. Ah, there's the side jump drives. Okay, that is great news. It looks like we're going to have new ship, boys. Okay, so let's get our science ships into position. Uh, let's not have them evacuate as soon as possible. Uh, these ones. Uh, this fight right here is actually more important than the entire war. And I'll tell you why. So, the United Kemplar states happen to have side jump drives. And side jump drives are... Basically, super awesome technology that we desperately... Oh my god, they got Tachyon Lances on there. Uh, they're cruisers. Hmm. Yeah, they're just cruisers, though, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, like I said, this fight right here is going to be pivotal. Because we need everything... Okay, okay, they joined in for... Where did you just go? Why is... No BB-1... No, stay. <laughs> okay, they decided to, you know, fuck the shit them out. Uh, let's not do that just yet. And let's send you down in here and the sign ship down in here. Situation log updated. Okay, so we need to get back into position here. Uh, because we kind of need the science behind that. Oh, cool, there's another... Oh, there's a fortress here. Well, there was a fortress here. Okay, so we're going to go back Situation into position. What do we got here? Uh, fleet engaged. 56. Situation right. log updated. Lost a couple of Corvettes. Nothing serious. Okay, we're just bombing this world at Situation the moment. Log updated. Okay, we'll be landing these armies soon. Okay, let's go to BB-1. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Okay, so let's hope that we can get in position in time. Uh, in the meantime, let's get our other ships into position as well. Uh, this autonomous cluster, this one's bombing. Uh, this one is just moving around, and this one's moving around as well. So, Hostile fleet This is going to be, like I said Situation before, this is going to be a critical updated. fight right Hostile here. Fleet engaged. Oh, God, we landed right Situation on top of them. That is updated. really bad. We should be able to win this, though, but we'll see. Like, we're losing quite a lot of shields very rapidly. Uh, 32. The problem is we have a lot of our... A lot of our strength is in our battleships. And our battleships are based... As soon as we lose one, we lose 2k of, of, of strength. Okay, cool. 
Now we're talking. So let's go and get these ones. These are the important ones. And let's do one of the other one as well. Because side jump drive is what we want. As soon as we can get side jump drive, we'll be some of the best ones, some of the best guys in the galaxy in terms of being able to move around pretty much without any issue whatsoever. So Cool. What did we actually destroy there? We destroyed a cruiser, six battleships. We lost eight battleships ourselves, so... Uh, 26,000. They did a lot of damage, though. Situation log uh, that was actually really lucky on our hand that we managed to survive that fight as we did. Okay, so let's take a look in the meantime to our transport fleet. Uh, war is very micromanagey, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed. So we're going to go and drop our dudes on planet. Hostile fleet cool. engaged. Yeah, so this used to be a 40k fleet. It's now significantly less. Uh, mainly because we lost all of our destroyers. But we are following, though. So all these ships are being alphaed right now. Cool. So what do we got here? Uh, their fleet is pretty much wrecked, which is exactly what we wanted. Okay, let's take a look here. What are we getting out of this? Didn't lose anything there. Uh, they lost all the things. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little trick here. Let's take a look. Uh, if I can find it. I just There it is. So right now, out of this, it doesn't look like we actually can get the side jump drive. That is very annoying. How about this one? Uh, I don't see side jump drive on this list anywhere. That is annoying. How about this? Uh... Basically, you can scan anything in space and just whole hover over a particular point. And you can see exactly what sort of uh, science you can get out of this particular uh, thing. The problem that we have in our game right now is that um, we're basically advanced so far in the game uh, that pretty much everybody is on the same technological level. So the thing is, is that at the moment, it's all about who's got the most resources. There is no... We're kind of sitting at the upper limit of the game. And it causes serious problems because there is a really no solid end game, right? There is no super secret project that allows you to advance yourself towards the next level of, uh, say, uh, you know, evolution or something like that, like transcendence, or if you want to you play around with ideas like that. But, yeah, it's, it's just really annoying that that's not really in the game. Okay, so this is now 20k. We're just taking down their shit. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, so right now they're just losing stuff left, right, and center. And the only reason we are as strong as we are is because we're pretty much capable of ripping them apart whenever we want. So, okay, so this one, what do we got here? Do I don't have any of my battle fleets just sitting around not doing anything at the moment. Uh, it doesn't look like it the case, so let's just merge all of these together. But yeah, like I said, this used to be a 40k fleet, and it's now down to 19, mainly because of that fight we had earlier. So we got storm fire cannons, advanced strike craft, a bunch of marauder missiles, neutronium stuff out of there, so that's that's good. And that's why it's that's why it's a good to go to war with smaller empires that may be more scientifically advancing you. Building tall is fun, sure. Like, you can totally play as a super pacifistic empire that only builds tall and becomes friends with everybody. Uh, the problem with that is, is that as soon as somebody bigger on the block comes by, ruins your shit, and steals your technology, then, you know, it becomes a problem. Uh, like, the human wave strategy, or in this particular case, the Xeno wave strategy, does work. Like, here we go. Like we get Stormfire uh, stuff out of it. And the, the problem we have as well is that our technology is not really growing all that fast because our population is huge. Let's take a look, actually, at our population. Um, uh, let's take a look here. That is this. No, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah. So species, if you go here, uh, we're not the biggest species. Like, But we're, holy shit, we're not even up there. We're like, There's one species that's big, twice as big as us. Who are you? The Clicksack Union is twice as big as us in population. That makes no sense. Really? Huh. Well, you know. All right, cool. Um, 
Let's take a look here. Uh, dudes are bombing. Yeah. Don't really care. Wait, well done. Is that an alien ship that we haven't met yet? That very rarely happens. Dabeth aliens. Cool. Hostile fleet huh. engaged. Situation log updated. Fascinating. Hostile fleet engaged. Debris analyzed. But yeah, this war is pretty much done. Let's be honest here. Uh, there's not much they can do. Uh, we're pretty much bombing them whenever we can. And uh, that will be it Hostile very shortly. Especially considering our war scores at 60 plus. At what we pretty much wanted to. So let's take a look here. Uh, we need a little bit more. As soon as we have a little bit more war score, we can force our demands, and it should be easy. But yeah, they, all their fleets have been destroyed. Uh, they're not going to go anywhere Hostile anytime soon. Uh, yeah, look at this. Update. It's a mess. It's huge. It's it's a huge mess down in here. Okay, let's go and send some research projects in these systems. Let's hope that we can do them before the war ends. Updated. Yeah, they're just sending Corvettes our way. And we're just getting free technology. That's pretty much all this was, really. It's a land grab and making sure we can get some free technology out of it. Uh, I will not end, end this episode just yet. I'm just going to force my hand a little bit first before we do that. I'm actually really annoyed that we can't get side jump drive. It probably has a probably has to do with the fact that I'm not collectivist. I do, however, now know who to point my finger at. Who the hell are you? Yeah, cool story, bro. Okay. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Like, I think we're actually at the point where the fallen empires have all disappeared and Hostile been pretty much been eaten alive. Like, the unbidden... Oh my god, the Miko Nass is being eaten alive by the unbidden. That's hilarious. Okay, and there's the invasion force. Good. Okay, this bombing is just happening just fine. Let's send these armies in here. And that should be uh, this Enemy war. Excellent. All right, cool. Let's see if we can negotiate. Ooh, almost. Just five more war score. Yeah, we got uh, more armor torpedoes. We get more stuff out of it. With every single ship we kill, it is just more stuff. And we're just bombing stuff left, right, and center. So that's good. Well, well for us, it's good. For whoever is on the receiving end of those bombs, not as good, obviously. But yeah, you, get the, you get the general gist here. Okay, so as soon as we hit 80 war score, we'll uh, peace out and uh, basically take all the territory that we want. Which shouldn't be very long now, actually. Uh, let's take a see if we can negotiate here. Ooh, and let's send our demands. And there we go. The partition is real. The Glickstack Union is but a shadow of its former self. And we have managed to come out on top of the enemy once again. And until next time, take good care of yourselves, and most definitely, each other.